Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to the last day of Ian Forster week. Today I'm going to be talking about my favourite Ian Forster novel, which is his novel Maurice. Once a term, the whole school went for a walk. That is to say, the three masters took part as well as all the boys. Maurice is my favourite Ian Forster novel. I think it is a truly brilliant novel. It is incredibly moving, very powerful and completely wonderful. Like I said yesterday, I think Howard's End might be a better crafted book. I think Howard's End is probably Ian Forster's masterpiece, but I think Maurice will always be my favourite because I love it so much. I do think as well that it is it is very hard to separate this novel from the social context around it and the context in which Ian Forster wrote it, um, which I think makes me love it all the more. So, Maurice was originally written in 1913 to 1914, but it was not published until 1971 after Ian Forster's death. Maurice is a coming of age novel following a young man called Maurice Hall. We follow him from his childhood into his sort of, um, late 20s I guess? I'm not actually 100% certain that I remember how old he is at the end of the book but he's not that old um, and we're looking at Maurice coming to understand himself um, and also him falling in love. Maurice is gay and he realises this fairly early on in his life. At university he meets a young man called Clive and they fall in love and everything goes on from there but of course everything is very very complicated especially as Clive is the eldest son of a very well-off family. He is expected to marry and have children and he is not sure that he he is willing to lead the kind of unconventional life that he and Maurice would have to lead to be together um, and everything goes on from there and there are other characters as well who are very important in the book. There is a lot that I love about Maurice. It is at its heart two things. It is a coming of age story and it is also a beautiful love story and it is an incredibly romantic and powerful book but it's also a book about reputation and respectability and class and conventionality and how far it is possible for people to step out of conventionality and what it means to live a life that would outcast you from your society. It is a book about social pressures and social structures um, and how you can feel outside of those social structures. It's a book about prejudice and identity, it's a book about hiding from yourself and accepting yourself, it is a book that deals with so many things. Maurice is a wonderful character, he is so richly and wonderfully explored and I would say he is almost like one of Ian Forster's best crafted characters. I feel like nearly every single other one of his novels follows lots of characters and lots of characters are focused on. Whereas I feel like Maurice is very much about Maurice, though the secondary characters are well developed and interesting too. It is a book about Maurice, it is his story um, and it really really follows that and gets to the heart of that in a really powerful, incredible way. And it is of course very much a book about being gay and being gay in the Victorian and Edwardian periods where it was completely unacceptable to be so. It is a book about homophobia and internalised homophobia and about coming to accept yourself even when the society and world around you does not accept you. And that is so powerful and that is so emotional. And I think knowing that Ian Forster wrote this as a gay man in the 1910s, feeling that he couldn't publish this and might never be able to publish it, showing this book only to a few very select friends who he felt he could really trust. And though he revised it several times in his life, he didn't want it to be published during his lifetime. It wasn't published until after his death. Like, I can't separate Maurice as a novel from the context around it and the story that surrounds it. Like, Maurice as a novel is fantastic, but there are also two things surrounding this novel which um, I find like incredibly emotional and really powerful. So the first is that the book is dedicated um, to a happier year. That's what the dedication is. Ian Forster wrote this book being like I want to dedicate this book and hopefully it'll be published one day when things are better in the future. So Ian Forster revised the book in 1960 and he also wrote a note at the end of the book um, about the novel and about why he didn't publish it during his lifetime um, and also how attitudes had and hadn't changed. So this note was written in 1960, so still um, seven years before homosexuality was de decriminalised in England. And this is what he, he says at the end of this note. Since Maurice was written there has been a change in the public attitude here. The change from ignorance and terror to familiarity and contempt. And I just like... The fact that Ian Forster still felt he couldn't publish this during his lifetime 
at the end of his lifetime and the fact that there was still such a long way to go when he died and there still is but you know less um gay marriage is legalized in many countries now it's better you know to a certain extent we are at in many countries the happier year in which this book is dedicated but also it's just so sad and it's so emotional but also this book is a happy book like this book is not a book full of depressingness this is a book that has like a happy ending and which is about accepting yourself and understanding yourself and being like well I don't care what society thinks of me and it's amazing this is like the most rambly review I've ever done I'm so sorry I just just really love this book and I feel like it's such an emotional book and like I said I cannot separate the book as itself from like the fact that Ian Forster wrote it and how it must have felt to have led his life and to write this book and not be able to show it to the world like I just but the book itself <laughs> there are so many amazing moments in it like I said I think Maurice is an amazing character and I think the way this book looks at sexuality and the way in which homosexuality was treated in the late 19th and early 20th century is just like amazing to read you know there are just not that many LGBT plus classics obviously there are some and there are many books in which you can read things that are implied though not explicitly stated um, I'll link my video down below on um, LGBTQ plus undertones in Victorian literature but I think this is the oldest book I've read which is explicitly about being gay and what it would mean to be gay in a society where that was completely unacceptable and it's just you know heartbreakingly sad but also so amazingly written and so powerful and beautiful and interesting there's this one scene where um maurice goes to see a doctor and he says to the doctor i am an unspeakable of the oscar wilde kind because he doesn't even have a word for like how to define himself and i feel like that is so incredibly powerful and so incredibly sad like i feel like that's just the moment from this book that will just always stay with me this book just makes me very emotional so i finished reading this book um and i was reading it on the train and i got off the train and i just sat on the station and just like cried on the station for like five ten minutes it was bad and i feel like as well it wasn't necessarily the end of this book that so made me cry it was that note at the end of the book that Ian Forster wrote. In many ways Maurice is such a hopeful book but the note that Ian Forster has written at the end of the book is not that hopeful um, and that just just makes me feel really really sad but also what an amazing book what an amazing book i have rambled on far too much about this book now and i feel like this review hasn't made much sense and i'm feeling very emotional so i'm gonna stop now please let me know down in the comments if you've read maurice and if you haven't you should you really should because it is just one of the most beautiful wonderful incredible sad but also hopeful amazing books i've ever read and i just i just love it and it's just amazing right that is it that is it that is it for ian forster week do let me know if you've enjoyed ian forster week i always really enjoy doing these author weeks they're really great fun um but yes that is all for now thank you very much for watching and i'll be back very soon with another bookish video